Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And today we're going to be asking a very important question, which is where is the yellow curve in Resolve? Why don't we have a yellow curve? And in the process of answering that question, we will understand color theory. Let's start by taking a look at the color wheel in Resolve. If you take a look at any color wheel, you'll notice something very interesting. You have the blue side to the wheel, you have the red side to the wheel, and you have the green side to the wheel. However, you also have yellow in the wheel, so you can make the image yellow. You have cyan and you have magenta. However, when you look at RGB curves, you'll notice that three of these colors are only present. So we have the red curve, we also have the green curve, and we finally have the blue curve. And you can see that here in the names of the curves. So we have the red, green, and blue curves. However, the three other colors that are present on the color wheels are missing from the curves. So we do not have a yellow curve. Why is that? To understand this, we need to understand color theory, or color contrast at least. Let's take a look at the color wheel to understand this. This is a color wheel. Notice something very important here. If you look at blue here, blue is on this side, and on the exact opposite side from blue, you have yellow. So yellow and blue are on opposite sides of the color wheel. Well, what does that mean? Why is that important? This means that every time I increase blue by pulling the controller towards blue, I'm automatically reducing yellow. So blue and yellow are connected. And by the same token, if I ever pull the controller towards yellow, I'm automatically reducing blue, making it less prominent. This means that yellow and blue cannot exist in the same universe. So whenever you increase blue, you automatically reduce yellow and vice versa. This simply means that we can look at this axis as a controller, where it balances blue versus yellow. And again, by the same token, green is linked to magenta, which means that whenever I increase green, I automatically reduce magenta and the other way around. And finally, we have red versus cyan, where they're on opposite sides, and whenever you increase one, you reduce the other automatically. This simply means that the blue curve in RGB curves is not actually a blue curve. It's a curve that balances blue versus yellow which means that the blue curve is actually the yellow curve at the same time, which means that if I wanted to make this image more yellow, all I need to do is to reduce the blue in the image. And I can simply do that by reducing the blue controller here in curves. So I'll simply control blue and bring it down. And notice that once I brought the blue down in highlights, the image automatically became yellow. This simply means that when you look at curves here, this curve, even though it's called the blue curve, it's actually the yellow curve at the same time. And the same is true for cyan and magenta. And this is directly linked to the word color contrast. Sometimes you hear the word contrast and sometimes you hear the word color contrast. Color contrast simply refers to an image that has two opposite colors predominantly on the image. So for example, the image will have a lot of yellow in the image along with a lot of blue. And because these two colors are on opposite sides, this will be referred to as an image with a lot of color contrast because the predominant colors in the image are on opposite sides of the color wheel, giving it a lot of color contrast. So I hope you found this uh, helpful. If you like this, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.